Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Sitting on the Floor. My name is Bella. My name is Kira. And today we're going to be talking about um, kind of like a little bit of a blast from the past, stuff that, you know, reminds us of our childhood. Quick disclaimer, because I feel like I'm going to forget if I don't. Please bear with us for the first few episodes, changes in sound, editing, anything and everything like that. We're doing our best, okay? It's our first time. We are two girls. We're just girls. We're just two girls sitting on the floor. (laughs) doing our best do you want to we can go ahead and start with toys if you want okay yeah let's do the toys do you remember those um i don't know what they're called i forgot to look them up but they're like little like jelly things and they're like a like a oval like a roll or something like where you put your fingers in no not the you could put it like on your arm like (laughs) you don't know if they had like glitter in them and like little animals i know you could put them like put your fingers in them like the jelly ones the jelly ones yeah. Are we talking about the same thing? I think we are. I think I we are. I could put it on my arm, whatever it was. <laughs> you had a big jelly. <laughs> <laughs> and then that I, also, and the little, like, finger traps. Um, I have a lot of toys. Number one, what happened to pogo sticks? Real. I haven't seen a pogo stick in literally, like, seven years. I haven't seen a pogo stick in so long. Going along with pogo sticks, we've got moon shoes. <gasps> moon shoe. Oh, my God. I never got a pair. Those I were always wanted them. We had them. They're a safety hazard. Are they? We almost twisted our ankle. <laughs> they like, looked so feet. cool. My mom loved them. Like, <laughs> like she, she loved using them? Yes. <laughs> she bought them for herself. That's hilarious. We opened... I have a picture. I'll put it in here of me opening it up on Christmas morning. And that was probably the last time I held them in my hands. <laughs> They were hers from that day on. I did have a pair of Heelys. <gasps> they were like a pair of like white Heelys, and then I like drew Sharpie on them. I wanted to be a Heelys person so bad, and I never got them. And then Josh, for like his 18th birthday, he really wanted a pair of Heelys, so I bought him a pair. Josh couldn't figure them out, so then he gave them to me to try to learn. And I don't know if you've ever tried to learn how to do a task like using Heelys when you're 18 years old. <laughs> I feel like Heelys are for the fearless six-year-olds on the street. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. What else do I have? Do you remember the, they weren't pogo sticks, but they were like, um, you know, the, like the rubber balls that you use for dodgeballs? In the like, ones with the weird texture? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So it's, it, there was this other thing. I don't remember what it was called, but it was like that. And it had this plastic ring around it that you would, and you would stand on the ring and squeeze the ball between your feet and you would bounce like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know what happened to those. Those were scary. My mom was I never really had good one at that of those. Too. Littlest Pet Shops. <laughs> I used to be so obsessed with Littlest Pet Shops. I wasn't obsessed with Littlest Pet Shops, but I wanted to be. I had so many of them. I don't have any of them anymore, but I used to have literal, like I had houses for them. I had every single one. I think those are worth a lot of money now. <laughs> I'm so you're joking. joking. I'm. You're right. I'm so joking. They're like dirt cheap. Can't find them anywhere. <laughs> no, because I'm gonna look it up and I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> I'm gonna be mad. I, I gave them the are, goodwill. I think they are worth like a lot of money. <laughs> That's upsetting. Yeah. <laughs> trolls. Um, I love the trolls. The little like ugh, they were like naked. They were ugly. <laughs> they were ugly. They had like the little diapers. You could do and their, their hair. hair. <laughs> yeah. They had I the creepy those. eyes, like the voidless <laughs> yeah. eyes. And then I had um. I had the Zulu pets, but you called them Zuzu pets. They're Zuzu pets. I don't believe you. I'm going to look it up. <laughs> I swear right they're now. Zulu pets. They're definitely Zuzu pets. Zuzu. Well, with H U. But they're Zuzu pets. <gasps> oh my gosh. Zoo pals. Oh my god, Zoo pals. Oh, I loved those so much. Did your. Zoo- Do they still sell those? The Zoo pals? Is that yeah. what they were called? Zoo. Oink, oink. Zoo pals. Um, okay, rivet, yeah. Rivet. Uh, I don't think they sell them anymore. Oh, damn. I would buy some. I totally would buy some. I definitely, I, yeah, I would too. For the Zuzu pets, did your Zuzu pet ever become, like, not usable because hair got trapped in the wheels? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I was just, gonna, I was really afraid for a second. Literally, like, almost all of them. <laughs> I was going to be like, were we just nasty bitches? I told you how many pets I had. Yeah. And, like, the amount of hair that was in our house yeah. was, like, unreal. The, and it didn't help that we had carpet. <laughs> Yeah, the carpet made it a yeah. thousand times worse. And then hair would stick to the carpet. It was just, it was not good. Yeah. Oh, the password protected journals that we used to have as kids. Mm-hmm. I did not have one. No? I wanted one so I got bad. really fucking mad because when I was a kid, I had one. And number one, I've always wanted to be a journal person and mm-hmm. I'm just not. I Why can't, not? I just, I can't keep up with them. Like I'll start a journal and then after like a week, I just don't keep up with it. Mm-hmm. Cause like sitting down and like writing everything out. I just I don't do it well you could do it like like weekly 
Instead of doing it, like, daily? I could, and then I would just forget about it. Mm-hmm. That's fair. And I, I wanted to be a journal person starting from the age that those came out. Mm-hmm. And I tell you what, I was actually pretty damn good at it until my voice changed and my password protected journal no longer recognized my voice. Did you get into it? No. Girl, I would slam that shit on the concrete. I, <laughs> I would. When I tell you, I remember these things being indestructible. Right? Yeah, no, I tell would me, curb stomp that bitch. Well, tell me why on TikTok the other day, I saw this girl, she was like, I reset the password to this one that I found at the, at the thrift store. You can reset it? Apparent fucking way. <laughs> That's hilarious. I was so mad. I was watching this TikTok like three days ago and I felt my blood boiling. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck do you mean you reset the password? Like, I saw one like two weeks ago when and she just like pried it open, like broke the plastic. I think I tried to and I couldn't get like I was so mad. You don't have it anymore? No, I wonder if that's why I don't like journaling now. <laughs> the drama. The drama. <laughs> yeah. Furbies and beanie babies, like Furby. the little tie doll things. Yeah. The beanie babies were so crazy when they came out and they said they were worth like a ton of money. Yeah, but they're I, not. You got to find yeah. the really like specific ones yeah. or ones that have like misprinted like letters on them. Yeah, the beanie babies was a crazy and then the riot of people who were just like I throw away all my beanie babies. <laughs> yeah. They're worth so much money now. And then again a year later they were like, "No, nope, they're Me with my not. little pet shops." <laughs> My older sister was into Lola's Pet Shops. I wasn't. And so when you have sisters, like, if one of them is into something, you can't be into it. Yeah. It's just, like, because then you're copying each other. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing with my stuff. Anything I was into, if either of my other two sisters were into it, they were some fucking bitches. (laughs) That's my thing. And so she was into Lola's Pet Shops, so I couldn't be. I had two other toys. Mm -hmm. One I don't think is really a toy. But what happened to PSPs? Playstations? No. PSPs. The hand- like the handheld ones? The handheld PlayStation. I had a handheld like Game Boy. I never had a PlayStation 1 though. I never had a PlayStation 1 either. But I was thinking about it and I was like, what happened to these? Because I remember probably like one select group of kids having PSPs. And that's it. Like, they, I feel like they came out with, like, one generation of PSPs. Mm-hmm. And then they, like, fell off the face of the earth. Now, whether... I mean, they just honestly became, like, game consoles. Yeah. I just... I don't know if maybe they were competing with, like, Nintendo DSs and, mm-hmm. like, Game Boys oh, and stuff yeah. like that. And people just weren't picking up the PSPs. Yeah. I don't know why that just reminded me of Neopets. But did you ever play, like, with the Neopets? No. What's a Neopet? Oh my god, they're like these little. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Hold on, look it up. Maybe there's I have. like, um, they're like little like different animals and stuff. I don't even remember what you did with them. Neopets. But you could like name them. Wait, that spelling looks familiar. Maybe I have. <gasps> oh, look, they're so cute. Hold on, I've seen. Do people cosplay as these? I've seen a I cosplay. Have no idea. I've seen a cosplay. I've definitely seen a cosplay of that one. <laughs> Or, oh, did you ever play Wizard 101 either? I have that written in here. <laughs> do you actually? Yeah. I have Wizard 101, and then I had um, Free Realms. Free Realms is not a thing anymore, and I'm really mad about it. I used to run around as a little fairy fighting things. It was so cute. I've never heard of that. Not a lot of people did. No? Yeah. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a super big thing, but they took it away from me. We can definitely go into that real quick, mm-hmm. because I had Wizard 101, and I've actually I've played Wizard 101 recently. Mm-hmm. Was it still good? Was it still fun? No. And here's the thing. I love Wizard 101. I'm a diehard Wizard 101 person. Mm-hmm. Why does everything cost money now? Does it really? Yeah. Like, you can only go into the commons and, like, the shopping district for free. Everything else, like Firecat Alley, like, all of those other, um, like, Cyclops Lane, everything like that, you have to pay money to get into now. I mean, it kind of makes sense. You kind of got to pay for, like, everything these days, which really does suck. Yeah, but, like, you can't do any quests or anything. Oh, yeah, that's dumb. Yeah, that's like, stupid. you have to pay to do quests. Yeah. It's not like, oh, like, get, pay money to get this exclusive VIP, whatever. No. I mean, like, you have to pay money to play basically everything in the game. They give that's... you, like, yeah, they give you, like, three quests, and then after that, you have to pay for everything. And I was mad, because I did the three quests in, like, an hour. And yeah. I was like, this is stupid. But going along with internet games that kind of fell off, um, Pixie mm-hmm. Hollow. I never was a Pixie Hollow gal. 
Get out of my fucking house. Never was. Get out of my fucking house. <laughs> Pixiola was where it was at, dude. But you know what I never was? I was never a Club Penguin girl. <gasps> I know. I never got the hype for Club Penguin. Oh my god. And I... Get was, out of your house. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> when it came back, when it came back, I tried to get into it because mm-hmm. my friends were like, let's all play Club Penguin. So I'd gone on there and they were like, oh my god, this is so fun. Like, I remember... Blah, 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 and they're like, let's do this, let's do this. And I'm sitting there and maybe it's just because I was in a... Like, I was 18. But I was sitting there and I'm like, this is... Girl, I would love come Club Penguin now. <laughs> and I'm 22. I was like, I'm... <laughs> not vibing with this i was like i, I used to oh my god the freaking fishing game and the freaking oh my god the flower game did you play the flower game you're telling me the flower game wasn't fun i don't even know what that you didn't fucking have any is. fun dancing on the we dance played, floor we played the- having a little did you have a puffle at least did you get a puffle i don't know you didn't get a puffle <laughs> It's like the first thing you do. I didn't have fun dancing on that dance floor. <laughs> Bitch, no. You know what I did? I clicked the button. I wasn't dancing nowhere. The fucking, oh my god. But no, um, we played like the sled game. Is that? Oh, that one's good. That one's good. Not to me. No. <laughs> I, no. It's probably because you just kept losing. Maybe. Is that your way of shit talking right now? <laughs> <laughs> Blow my mind that you don't like Club Penguin. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Any game on Cool Math? Cool math, anime. the run game, yeah, the that's block a, game. Like, I block like source. any Papa's game. Any the Papa's games. Papa's What's cupcakes. your favorite Papa's game? Papa's cupcakes are you? Cupcake are you? Cupcakes are you? Wingaria. Nobody played <laughs> Wingaria. I played Wingaria. Well, I have it on my you. phone. I have it on my iPad. Girl, let me show you what level I'm at. Never mind, my phone's over there. <laughs> I play that. You can all have the it on time. your phone. Yeah, <gasps> I paid for it. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> Good for you, bestie. Oh, and the Fireboy and Lava Girl. <gasps> Fireboy and Lava Girl. I body. But the thing that's so crazy is why were we playing those games in math class? Because. <laughs> Real. They're not math I used to games. get on it when I was in high school. I used to do it during my um, economics class. Dude, they'd be like, <laughs> they'd be like, oh, if you finish your math early, you can go play on cool math. For what? Right. This isn't teaching me I don't think they anything. knew about the other tab. And, and the games the, tab. They didn't know about the games tab. <laughs> I feel like they definitely had to. They like, had it, to, it's yeah. not a secret. We were all in there playing yeah. <laughs> it. Like they knew we were not just like screaming at math equations. Right. <laughs> like that. And then um did you ever play Some Dog? Do you remember Some Dog instead of Cool Math? Mm-mm. Some Dog was um I used to also go on like those little like typing things to see how fast I could type. <gasps> that was so fun. Some, I was really bad at it. <laughs> Some dog was like the actual math version of Cool Math and the games were still fun. I don't know how to explain some dog. It was just a whole bunch of math games, but like they were actually really good. Wait, that looks really familiar. Yeah, it's wait like that per zoom in on that person. Oh, they look, they, <laughs> that looks they look really... like they look like that man that uh the dream man. Don't ever <laughs> don't ever bring that man up. <laughs> I'll again. insert a picture right here of the dream man in case you guys haven't seen him. Which I'm sure you have because everybody has seen the dream man. Is there any like kids games that you still play? <gasps> Yeah. See, yeah. I knew okay. if I clicked on that, I felt like if I clicked on yeah. that one, it would. There was also a Vine game. Hold on, some dog. Vine. Did you ever go to that uh, playground one? This doesn't look familiar. The to playground you. website. Oh, <gasps> I know what you're talking about. What is that called? Does that not look? Familiar? I okay. This looks really familiar. Yeah. Look up. Look up playground games. <gasps> that one. Yes. I oh my gosh. The, oh my gosh. I remember all of these. Yeah. I liked the sand one with the, with That's the worms. A, the sand one. He kind of looks like you. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like, no. But wait, let me hear me out. He has your energy. He's. <laughs> Anyways. He has your energy. The pig, the flying pig. <laughs> you would like bounce. Yeah, I remember the. I remember the turtle one. I remember this one. Mm-hmm. I remember that purple thing. Mm-hmm. You'd have to like close his eyes. Is that what it was? Yeah. I remember the octopus. I remember the swing. The swing one. And I, the oh, the scuba guy. I kind of remember that one. I don't know what that triangle is. He he's very familiar looking. I don't remember what his game was. I remember the frog. I remember this motherfucker. I don't mm-hmm. remember what you had to have him do. I remember that dude had to like pop balloons, like of yeah. the color of his hat. 
I remember all of these. He used to love going on that website. Oh my gosh. No, I remember all of those 100%. I have Saints Row written on my list. What? Saints Row. You've never played Saints Row? No. Oh, it's not a kid appropriate game. So. Oh. Or like <laughs> Dumb Ways to, to Die. It. Dumb Ways to Die. I used to play that all the time. The other game that I had on here um, is Movie Star Planet. That, like, <sighs> I need. I kind of want to go back on it now as an adult. I don't know if I would. I wasn't the biggest. Like, I played it, but only if I was, like, bored of literally everything else. Movie Star Planet was perfect for me in the sense that it gave me drama. I caused so much drama (laughs) on that website. I would go in there and I would take boyfriends left and right and then I would create a boy account and have it open in a separate tab <laughs> and I would come in and I would fight for my Girl, honor scheming. I would fight for my honor and then I would after I would leave like the locations that I was in and like fighting with other guys for me I would then go into the be- like into a separate one that myself like my actual one wasn't in and I would go in as a guy and I would be like I would I would talk shit I would straight up talk shit like I would go about up to, who about the guys about the girls everybody I'd be like you're ugly <laughs> you're ugly and then when fight to break out I would just leave <laughs> that's fucking or hilarious like they had little emoticons where like if you clicked it like your character could kick and so I would just go up to people and I would just kick <laughs> I need us to play that game like now <laughs> and then also I made a separate account um I made it like I made her look like super cool and everything and I had her run a cafe and I turned my house into a cafe and I would go around and I would um like I made it I made it look like a cafe and then I would go around to different locations and I would tell people I'd be like come to my house it's a cafe and then they would come to my house and like you could get famous based on how many people like loved your room and so I would get people to go there and they would love my room. Wait, that's cool. Yeah. That's actually really cool. Yeah, the whole point of the game was to get famous. Mm-hmm. So, like, the more friends you had, the more you rise up in fame. The more, like, movies and likes on your movies that you had, the more you rise up in fame. The more people liked your house, the more you rise up in fame. Mm-hmm. The more games that you participated, everything. It was all a game fame. And so... Oh my god, I want to play. I yeah. know. It got to the point to where I actually... I don't know. I don't know how I did this. But I had people working for me in that game. Like, on the cafe one, where I was, like, running a cafe. Like, telling people to go tell more people to come? Yeah. And, like, they would stand there in my house. Girl, you're an entrepreneur. Dude. (laughs) (laughs) They would stand in my house, and they would, like, serve people. (laughs) Which, like, you can't do in the game. I don't know what they were doing. They were just, like, walking. They were walking in and out of, like, I guess the living room Mm -hmm. (laughs) and they were like here's your food and it was nothing (laughs) (laughs) but i tell you what i had tons of likes i was famous for running a cafe i need to see your old account i wonder if i can remember it (laughs) i'll have to see if i can remember my logins because i want to i actually want to play though like can we can we yes (laughs) oh my gosh yes i want to be i want to be famous you know the fine yeah hey hey i want to be famous why are you so good at that? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't think of a lot of obsessions that I had when I was a kid, but Veruca Salt was one of them. I was deter- I was I would go around the house and I would sing "Don't Care How I Want It Now" and I would like mimic her her whole song. Which which Veruca Salt is your favorite? Uh, the one in Gene Wilder. Okay. Um, okay. and I believe his is just Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory for Gene Wilder. Yeah. All the people in like the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and then the Willy Wonka one, mm-hmm. they all they both have like the same names in the in the movies, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, and then I think in so, the new yeah. one, they don't because they don't exist because it's before. Yeah, I haven't seen the new one yet though. I really want to. Oh, you should see it. It's really good. I really want to. I feel like, a, but nobody wanted to go see it with me. Girl, it's on like HBO now. I know. I I was waiting for Kyler so we could watch it together. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Brayden loved it. Like, absolutely loved it. Did he? I yeah. feel like that's high praise coming thought, from him. Yeah. Like, I thought he was going to hate it. I was going to say, I didn't think he would like a movie like that. Yeah. He doesn't even like Timothy Chalamet. I 
don't like Timothy Chalamet until I see him acting. And then I'm like, usually I like his characters. That's fair. And like, I didn't understand the hype with Timothy Chalamet until have you I seen, saw him in uh, Little Women. Have you seen Dune? No, I refuse to watch Dune. Why? I'm not watching a three hour long movie. It's three hours? Yeah. Oh. Have you seen Dune? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Why are we having this conversation? I was just asking. I do. I love Zendaya. I do love Zendaya. And Florence Pugh, I believe, is in the second one. Mm-hmm. And I love them. But I can't convince myself to watch a three-hour-long movie. I heard that it's, like, really... Except Titanic. Or The Notebook. Yeah, is The Notebook that, three hours? Yeah, The Notebook's, like, three hours. I've yeah. only seen The Notebook once, and that was when you made me watch it. This is the type of friendship that we had. We were like 14. Kira had seen it the week before. Somebody made you watch it. I don't know mm-hmm. who. And you were sobbing. And then you came over to my house the following week and you said, you have to watch this movie. And so you made me cry. And it was, I think I, think I also made you watch a lot of really sad movies as well. Mm-hmm. There was one movie that you made me watch that you said was sad, but it was not... <laughs> Like, I did not, like, because I'm a crier. Like, I cry so often. Like, any movie, I will cry. Inside Out, I cried at Bing Bong. Dude, I cried through the whole movie of Inside Out, not just Bing Bong. The whole movie? Yeah, I cried from the first ten minutes. When they put sadness in a circle, I sobbed. <laughs> I, like, I think I was really emotional that day. Mm-hmm. And I was, I was crying, and I was, like, I was on the couch with my friend, and I was like crying really hard because i was like i don't want you guys to feel like you have to put me in a circle just because i'm sad and she was like we don't and i was like but i feel bad because i don't ever want to make you guys feel sad with my sadness and it was really depressing and i cried through the whole movie it is a really sad movie it's a really sad movie and people and like, like at the end when they like when uh joy makes uh sadness take all of the, the balls and make them sad so that she's like feeling sadness for the first time mm-hmm. that movie <laughs> it's such a good movie i I've only seen it once, and that's because my heart can't handle watching it for another time. I put it on at work, and then I was doing stuff, Mm -hmm. and then I turned around, and Bing Bong is dying, and I'm like, (laughs) when he he literally sacrificed himself. I know it's so sad. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry right now. Oh my god! I want to know what movie I made you watch that you said wasn't sad. Um. I don't know. You got really mad at me for not being sad about it, though. Like, that sounds like me. I think it, it was... How dare you Magnolia. Not? Steel... Steel Magnolia? Steel Magnolias. <laughs> but I only, well, I've only ever watched it that one time. Bitch, I'm and I just don't know well. if I was, like, distracted or not attached to the characters or something, but I didn't cry, and you were like... I was like, oh, it wasn't that sad, and you were, like, so mad at me. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to get mad at you again. <laughs> I'll just have to watch it again. Steel Magnolias is really sad. Now, I haven't seen it since I was that young, so I don't know mm-hmm. if I would cry like how I did then, but it's it's a really sad movie. Mm-hmm. I also listed, like, I put, well, I didn't list them, but I put down, like, all of the movies that you had me watch because I was, like, uncultured. Not uncultured, but, like, kind but, of sheltered from, like, yeah. certain stuff. I remember we, we had you watch Beauty and the Beast for the first time. Yeah. Like, you hadn't seen Beauty and the Beast, and you were, like, 13. The only, yeah, the only, like, princess movie that I had seen was, like, The Little Mermaid. That, I feel like that makes sense. Yeah. In the way that, like, I feel like everybody has seen The Little Mermaid. Mm-hmm. People who, like, kids who liked it, Disney, like, princess movies, and kids who haven't. Like, I feel like everybody has seen The Little Mermaid. Yeah. That was, like, the only one. And then um, you also had me see Gremlins for the first time. You showed me Harry Potter. Um, (laughs) And then What can I say? I don't know. There was a lot of them. Too many to remember. Princess Princess Bride. Bride. Yeah, I wrote that down, actually, because that is actually, like, still my favorite movie ever. Like, that is my number one movie. Oh, my God. I love that movie so much. Like, I watch it. I'm not even kidding. I watch it once a week. I have a poster (laughs) of it in my... Oh, my gosh. I love The Princess Bride. It's mad when I put it on at work. <laughs> so I, he, th- he turns it off. Why? Who would turn off the Princess Bride? I know. I mean, I do put it on, like, very often. <laughs> so. Still, that feels like criminal almost. Yeah. To turn off the Princess Bride. And then I also put um, The Visit <laughs> up here, but... Oh, my gosh. The Visit was crazy. The Visit was insane. Like, <laughs> if you haven't seen it, don't watch it. It's <laughs> not worth it. Oh, my God. Here I come. Here I come. <laughs> The visit was like I think Charity is the one who made us watch that. 
Was she? Yeah. Did she did she see it before? I think she had. And, and she did was she like, like it? <laughs> I think she just thought we would think it was funny. It was funny. It <laughs> and yeah, she had us watch the visit. And that became like the biggest inside joke. Going back to obsessions, I definitely thought that I, I thought that I could be on Shake It Up. And like that's so me. And like, <laughs> that's so I me. I would sit there and my obsession, like it was bad. Like I remember they had this like audition thing mm-hmm. to be in a dance with them that they hosted on Disney Channel. And when I tell you, I must have filmed like a hundred choreographed dances and submitted them. I still have footage. Did you get a call back? Girl, no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I was doing? Can you show me? <laughs> no. I was probably doing like like some <laughs> weird arm thing. <laughs> like popping and locking. The key, the key. And it's oh my god, I had the uh, the hoedown on lock, girl. Oh, the hoedown throwdown? The hoedown throwdown. Oh, I think, yeah. The, I yeah, had the that hoedown. on lock. I'm playing that at my wedding, and if not, Real. If, if every girl does not get up and do the hoedown throwdown with me, you're getting fucking booted out of my mm-hmm. wedding. Because at the end of the day, like, you're not going to come to my wedding and not hoedown throwdown. Real. I also have the, um, what is the Team Beach song? Cruising for a Bruising. Cruising for a Bruising. Oh. Keeping it cool, smooth and steady. Slick back camera, thanks for getting heavy. You're cruising for a bruising. And then when they when they released the movie and they had like the whole breakdown and the extra scenes of how to do every single part. Oh yeah, of that song. Oh yeah. Oh, that I didn't was, need it though, girl. I was studying was that movie. <laughs> studying, <laughs> studying. I, Is there any item that you still have from your childhood? I have a stuffed animal, but that's like the only thing that I could like think of was. I, I think if I do have a stuffed animal, well, I mean, I have stuff at my mom's house, but I don't have anything that I like actively have with me. Mm-hmm. Like I take traveling with me. Yeah. What's your stuffed animal like? It's a little dog. It's, um, it's a Valentine's Day themed Build-A-Bear and it's a little white dog and it's got like a heart on its eye. I my like mom I've got it, it for me and her name is Snowball. I feel like I've seen that. I feel, yeah, I think you have, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think I have anything actively with me, but I think I do have stuff at my mom's house that mm-hmm. I'll probably be lucky if it's still there. On the topic of having things from your childhood, can we talk about our unconventional childhood crushes? Because <laughs> I've been hiding this from you. <laughs> mine, are, mine are bad. Like You have multiple? Did you only do one? I can only think of one, yeah. The Doodle Bops guy. That's your one? <laughs> That's one of them. Oh, But I, I have another. And my I other one is like, gonna say, I don't even want to tell you my other one. I thought you were going to say that's your one, and I was about to be like, redraw right now, because <laughs> that's not that's not <laughs> embarrassing. Hold on. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> seven ones that I could think of that are like unconventional, but I might not say some because they're extra embarrassing. Can I read them? Yeah, you can read them when I'm done. Okay. All who's, right. Who's your one? Have you seen Impractical Jokers? <laughs> yes, and I'm listening loud and clear, baby. I am listening loud and clear. It's Mer. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I, my sister and my brother saw them like, I'm, not in concert because they don't sing, but they saw them like live. live. And I was like, oh my god, send me a picture of Murr, send me a picture of Murr. She sent me a picture and it was over the back of his head. <laughs> when? When was this? Like years ago. Oh, I thought. So I don't want to have the picture anymore. I thought, I thought it was recent and you were like, <laughs> like a year ago and you're like, send me a picture of Murr. I think it was like three, four years ago. I have, okay. Should I do, I don't want to do my most embarrassing one. You already know my most embarrassing one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying that on, I'm not saying that on here. Um. My, my, a lot of these are cartoons. That's that's fair. Okay. Well, actually, I think there's only one that I'm like super. There's kind of two that I'm super embarrassed about. So I might not say those, or I might save them for last. Okay. Um, Bernard, obviously from the Santa Claus movie. That's not really like that's understandable. Is it? Mm, okay. I don't think it's unconventional. Okay. Continue. Hmm. 
Robin Hood. Okay. <laughs> All right. It gets worse. Robin Hood is just like like Peter Pan. You yeah, know I mean? but like, oh the. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I did have a couple of Peter Pan as well. I did. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. I, I would never say that until I was on my lunch break today. And I was like, I'm trying to remember my unconventional crushes that aren't, like, common. Mm -hmm. And I Googled it, and a whole bunch of people were saying Robin Hood. And I was like, okay, so I'm not fucking, like, crazy. It's like when people are like, oh, Simba. Like, a whole bunch of people had crushes on Simba from The Lion King. (laughs) I'm not saying (laughs) I did. I'm just saying that. It was Mufasa, if anything. (laughs) Well, I would hope. Well, you're an adult. (laughs) (laughs) I would hope. To like that to, to Robin Hood. I don't want to. Okay, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I won't even make a face. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> okay, um, Doc from Cars. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Doc from Cars. <laughs> I okay, pull, him up, pull him up. Pull him up. Pull him up. Tow that motherfucker in. <laughs> So, again, when I was Googling it, a whole bunch of people were like, Lightning McQueen. And I was like, no, I didn't have a thing for Lightning McQueen. No, definitely Tow Mater. Bitch. Don't. Tell me you're kidding right now. I'm not. (laughs) (laughs) Tell me that man does not exert energy. (laughs) I'm sticking by my man. (laughs) Co <laughs> mater. You're sticking around time later. Co mater. I knew it. I knew when I saw you. <laughs> knew what? That you be my best friend. <laughs> Say it with your chest. Donkey. Okay. From Shrek. In the morning, I'm making muffles. <laughs> <laughs> I think we, like, I tend to like the more, like, Exert like exertive. Mm-hmm. I think I like People, more of like the, the, the comedic. comedic ones. Yeah. yeah, I have two more. Well, okay. one that I'm not saying, but two more. Is the that one I that you're not say. saying that the one that you told me? No. Well, okay. then I have two that I'm not saying. There's there's another one that I'm not saying. Just because okay. I feel I fear. Actually, no. I will say that one. Um, and that's why when you were talking about the Princess Bride, I thought about it. Andre the Giant. I had a crush on Andre the okay. Giant. Okay. That one is a yeah. Feel, I feel I feel okay getting that off my chest. That one's yeah. The other one I'm not saying. <laughs> I'm not fucking saying what I told you. Okay. <laughs> I'm not saying that other one. Um, and then I have um JoJo from Horton Hears a Who. Pull him up. I haven't seen that movie in so long. Okay, that's not no girl. That is not unconventional. <laughs> what is this picture? This. Cause, cause he he's giving like the one slur, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh my god! And then finally, uh, Jareth the Goblin King from Labyrinth. So David Bowie, as okay. Jareth the Goblin. Not King. Not unconventional. Well, uh, the other one, do I know it? Any person who I've ever told about my last one has held that against me. For that's how you know it's that's just, how you know when something's unconventional is when everybody fucking makes yeah. fun of you for it. I'm no. Can He's, we talk about why they make um like characters so appealing? <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking about the one slur right now. <laughs> No, because I, I hear what you're saying. The one slur was like, they had no business making that man that fine. Real. For like a kid's Real. Movie. And the Lorax? Cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that out. I only like. I'm listening though. I only like his like demeanor. It's Danny DeVito. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> I just love that he's so passionate. <laughs> he's just so passionate about things. He's a dream. good man, Savannah. He's a, he's a good, good man. man. 
That oh my gosh. Okay. I think I I think I thought of one more and then that's it. Mm-hmm. Um, Will Ferrell. I've always had a thing for Will Ferrell since I was a kid. I think the first movie I saw him in was either Step Brothers, which I should not have been watching that young, but I either saw him in Step Brothers or an Elf. And can I hit you back with one? Yeah, Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill. Mm-hmm. It's, it's comedy. Yeah, Jonah Hill. They're just funny dudes. <gasps> Michael Sarah. Michael Sarah. Sa- Michael Sarah. Michael Sarah. I will die on that hill. I, oh my god. Do you, Do you know what your movie, your perfect movie is? Super bad. You got I Jonah Hill. Love you got Michael Super Sarah. Bad. Oh my god. Oh my god, Michael Sarah, bro. I'll even go as far. Oh. That's a stretch. <laughs> that one's a stretch. <laughs> a little bit. You're a coward. <laughs> This is the end was like oh the funniest movie. The power of Christ compels you. <laughs> does it? Does it really? <laughs> oh my god, that Oh my god. That movie had no business being that entertaining. For real. Also, uh, Seth Rogen. Oh. Seth Rogen too. Seth Rogen in um the interview is what did it for me. Mm-hmm. Not not fucking James Franco, but Seth Rogen. Honestly, James Franco never really... The only thing that James Franco ever did it for me in was Freaks and Geeks. Real. And that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty sure his character... I haven't seen it since I was like 11. Can we talk about um, Daniel Radcliffe, though? That man (laughs) never had a bad looking day. No. I've only seen him looking good in movies. Guns Akimbo, have you seen that? Mm Mm-mm. Watch it. Pause. Kira, you know what movie I'm about to bring up. You have to know. Is it The Goblet of Fire? No, it's not a Harry Potter movie. It's a Daniel Radcliffe movie. You have to know what movie I'm about to bring up. Let me think. Because you showed this movie to me. Let me think. And I will go as far as to say that that movie gave me the ick against Daniel Radcliffe for a hot minute. What movie? Swiss Army Man. I don't remember that. For all. Where they literally use him like a fucking rowboat. <laughs> like, they use him as a motorized boat. Bella, I have never <laughs> seen this movie. What, who showed you this? <laughs> I have never seen this. What? What is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh my god, I take back everything that I said in the last three minutes. <laughs> what is this? I've never, I've never seen this. Swiss Army Man, he's like dead. There's like, I don't know, I don't remember what it was. I haven't seen this movie in so long. He's like dead. And so he uses his body like a Swiss Army knife and he powers him like a boat. But the boat is powered by Daniel Daniel Radcliffe's farm. My dad. I don't know who I don't know who showed you this, but it was not me. But um like to go I guess to go hand in hand with with what? Oh, I was gonna say since we're talking about movies, I have like movies and TV shows and stuff. I was gonna say, yeah, I have TV shows. Mm-hmm. So Okay, you go first. Like just TV shows that reminded us of our childhood or like unfor like forgotten ones. Mm-hmm. Did you ever watch Gullah Gullah Island? I loved that show. Nobody Let's fuck. all go to Gala Gala Island. Gala Gala. Gala Gala. Dude, yeah, nobody knows about that show. Nobody knows about Gala Gala I Island. used to wake up at like 2 in the morning and to watch it. Like, That's I, a bit extreme. <laughs> I loved that show. I had like a fever dream about Gala Gala Island like a year ago. Mm-hmm. For the first, like I hadn't thought of Gala Gala Island in years. And so I was sitting there and I was like, what is this? It took me like almost two hours scouring the internet because I was typing in like yellow monster. <laughs> like, I was like, what is this? I was yeah. like, why do I know what it is? Or like yellow lizard. Like, I didn't know what he was. I think he's a dinosaur now. Maybe. But I remember, and then I started remembering like little things where he's like, who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? I stole the cookie. You know, like. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Gullah Gullah Island is a big one that I feel like I a lot of people forget about. I love that show. 
Yeah, I don't ever hear anybody, like, all those, like, slideshows, like, on TikTok and stuff that's, like, shows that you forgot about. I'm always searching and searching for Gullah Gullah Island, but nobody puts it up there. Nobody And also, Gullah Gullah Island. nobody knows what the Upside Down show is. I know what the Upside Down show is, but I don't remember it. Like, I feel like it's been scrubbed from my memory. I absolutely loved the Upside Down show. I used to play the game on the website. It was, like, these two dudes, and they did, like, improv stuff. Like, they really? would have, like like, a like a thing and then they would like blow up a balloon and make like the sounds with it and then they would like pretend to walk down the stairs behind their couch but there was no basement <laughs> and it was like they did like a bunch of cool improv stuff and they would use they would like draw and I have feel, like oh no 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 yeah now that you're saying that I feel like I do actually remember like bits and pieces of it yeah no it was my favorite show that was also my favorite show I used to love no. the, oh that's another <laughs> that's another unconventional crush those two dudes really yeah they controlled my life for like a year they were so funny <laughs> They, they were, were really funny. <laughs> Roly Polioli. Um, nope. No. Uh, the Wiggles. But the I feel Wiggles. like everybody remembers the Wiggles. Yeah. Speaking of the Wiggles now, they're like, they obviously have changed a lot of the Wiggles. Mm-hmm. Like, I think there's still one original Wiggle. I think there is. One is ripped and covered in tattoos. And then one's a, um, one is played by a girl now. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't remember her character name. But, like, they replaced one of them with a female character. And then um, there's also, they're on tour right now. And I don't know what happened. I think I got on some, like, millennial side of TikTok. But they were posting videos and they were like, the millennials love the giving tree. And there were a shit ton of videos of the giving tree from the Wiggles tour. And it's a segment where this tree comes out and he basically, like, break dances and does flips on stage and stuff like that. And I'll tell you what. If you have to be a millennial to love this giving tree, sign me the fuck up. Because he was tearing it up. I haven't seen it. <laughs> he was eating. <laughs> like, <laughs> he, then you have I to mean, send like, me a video. Uh, later. You know the song where it's like, In a hole in the bottom of the sea. In a valley oh. You know, like that song? Yeah, it goes in what? the valley oh. oh, okay, okay. I don't know. <laughs> you know, but anyways, he dances to that song. And I mean, like, he's like hitting every, it, it was impressive. I was like, damn, this guy's cool as fuck. What was your favorite Wiggle song? Fruit salad. Yeah. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Yummy. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have Oswald. Oswald. Um, wow, wow, Wubsy. <gasps> I have wow, wow, Wubsy. And I used to play the game. Did you ever play the game? Wow, wow, wubsy. With the little, wubsy, um, wubsy, wow, wow, with like the purple and orange and like you'd collect like the screws and then you'd build like a. Like I think a... we had separate games. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's so fun though. And it's then fun. I have um, the Animaniacs. Nobody ever knows what the Animaniacs are. I know what the Animaniacs are. I love the Animaniacs. People and only like know that, so about the Animaniacs. Because of the um, song that Wacko did of the countries. Oh, yeah. That one that's like... Yeah. I act like a nut, so they call me macadamia. And then the nurse from the Animaniacs. Mm-hmm. The nurse. Another <laughs> unconventional crush <laughs> was the... Um, what was he? A therapist? The therapist from Animaniacs? I don't know. Was he a therapist? I have no idea. He was something. He was something. That's Dr. Scratch and Sniff. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Never mind. He looked different in my head. <laughs> he looked way different in my head. <laughs> Scratch that. <laughs> like that he's all yours <laughs> I said <laughs> I have an inquiry <laughs> um to I, I do have a couple of like PBS shows that I feel like not a lot of people remember mm-hmm. like uh, Word Girl or Cyber Chase Martha or, Speaks Martha Speaks um or Word World instead of Word Girl mm-hmm. But I feel like this also goes hand in hand with like my next flow of conversation mm-hmm. or the next Wait, topic. Wait, before the next topic, mm-hmm. do you remember that history thing that um, we used to have to watch in elementary school? Like the animated ones? The animated ones. Yeah. Those. 
Captain John Smith and like um there was one specific dude I don't remember who it was but he had me in a chokehold <laughs> Was he in multiple Fifth ones? Fifth grade. I think he was in multiple ones, yeah. And those were the best ones. I don't remember. When, but I loved, I, I loved those videos. When I developed a crush on a man and he was in multiple videos, I was getting fed. <laughs> Real. I was like, they were like, time for history. I said, ooh. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Um, but going going hand in hand with the, the next topic, um, as far as like PBS and everything like that, mm-hmm. um, things that I feel like that I thought as a kid made people rich, um, one of them was cable TV. Cable TV? Yeah. If you had cable TV, you were rich in my eyes. Any kind of, like, handheld electronic. Yeah. Any kind. Mm -hmm. I wrote a couple of things down. Like, number one, cable TV, because we always had, like, TV from a satellite, which Mm -hmm. was, like, the $20 thing that you could buy at, like, Family Dollar, and you would just get all the local stations. But if you had, like, Cox or Verizon and, like, you had a TV guide and everything like that, like... I think we had TiVo. What is that? I've never heard of that. TiVo is like a little, <laughs> he's a little TV with like little antlers and he's got little feet. And really? it's like, he's got the word TiVo. Look it up. I would his, his, little, his little thingy is so cute. Look, he's so cute. Oh my God. Oh my God. TV shows, Crash Box. Crash Box. I hope somebody remembers. What is Crash Box? A whole bunch that of. That looks really familiar they had a whole bunch of things this is this is like child adult swim yeah it was a whole bunch of riddles and stuff like that oh my god that dude looks so familiar yeah there was a whole bunch there was like pooper scoop that one was like that dude looks really familiar too um he was like the leader this one was um distraction news where she would like say a whole bunch of things oh my gosh Things would come to distract you. This one was like a snake riddler. Um, a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know who that skeleton dude is. He was cool. You that had to snake add, reminds me of Beetlejuice, though. You had to add math equations with his bones. It, it was really cool. But yeah, if you had cable TV, you were rich, Timmy. That, um, trampolines. Trampolines. Or any kind of pool. I had a trampoline. I did have a trampoline, but that was also... It wasn't my trampoline. Like... Mm-hmm. We were living with my mom's boyfriend, and he had a trampoline. Um, any pool, above, below, especially if it was below an in-ground especially. pool. Below, especially. If it was an in-ground pool, yeah, you were rich, Ooh, rich, rich. <laughs> any house, number one, with a garage, but especially if it was a detached garage, mm-hmm. you were rich. Or even just a shed. <laughs> yeah, a two-story house. Two-story house. If I went to your house. And you ordered dinner while I was at your house, and you paid for my dinner, you were rich. That, but when we had people come over, it was like, that was like a special thing that we actually got. Yeah. Was that when people would come over, my mom would order pizza. It never it never occurred to me, like, as a kid, that if people were ordering dinner while I was there, it mm-hmm. was, like, because it was special. I was just kind of like, well, you guys must order dinner every night. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Did you ever use the um, the Santa tracker? No. I feel like I missed that opportunity as a child. It made me so sad. My brother used to stay up, like, all night and use it. I don't even know when he went to sleep. but I went to sleep before him, but I don't even know when he went to sleep. And I also had the question, when did you find out that Santa wasn't real? Oh, my. Do you want to answer this first? or? Um, I honestly don't even have, like, a set time. I just remember, like, my parents going and putting presents down and being like oh don't come down here because we're putting presents down they didn't even tell you they were I just like so they were just like mm. and then i know that before we would have like wrapped presents under the tree and then we would have because there was five kids so we would have five piles that were, my parents were like oh the piles are from us and the wrapped ones are from santa mm. and then after that it was just they would wrap everything and be like oh yeah we're putting presents down so don't look and then i would go into my mom's closet and like see what stuff was in there oh my gosh <laughs> I I was too scared to do that. I was afraid that if I got caught, my mom would return it, which mm-hmm. she would. So I, was, I wasn't <laughs> trying that. Um, but no, I, I was either in like kindergarten or first grade. Mm-hmm. And Riley, like Riley wasn't old enough to go to school. So she would be with my mom. Um, and I guess it was close to Christmas time. And my mom didn't think Riley would pick up on it. So my mom went Christmas shopping with Riley there. 
And I guess while they were in the store, Riley put it together, which is like crazy because I think I was like in kindergarten, I was like six or seven. Mm -hmm. Um, Six, I think. Five. Yeah. So that means Riley had to have been like three. And Riley had looked at my mom and she goes, are you Santa? And my mom goes, no. And Riley goes, yes, you are. You're Santa. And Riley, and my mom goes, no, no, I'm not Santa. And Riley goes, yes, you are. You're Santa. <laughs> and Riley persistent. <laughs> she was like, you're Santa. And my mom was like, she was like, stop. She was like, stop. You can't be loud because there were other kids in the store. She was like, don't say anything. And my mom, and Riley goes, so you are Santa. And my mom goes, don't say anything. And Riley goes, Easter Bunny. And my mom goes, <laughs> Riley knew. My mom was like, no. And my, my Riley goes, Easter Bunny. And so, like, Riley put it together. And we get in, and my mom was like, you cannot tell Bella. Bella does not know. And I get in the car, and sure as fuck, the first thing out of Riley's mouth was, Mom, Santa. <laughs> and I was like, what? And I go to school the next day, and I was a little asshole. I go, and I tell every single kid in my class. I was like, Santa's not real. Santa's my mom. <laughs> and they were... <laughs> They were like, no, uh, Santa is real. Santa is real. And so I like, we were sitting at the table in the cafeteria and I'm like, <laughs> and the teacher comes over and I was like, can you tell them Santa's not real, please? <laughs> and she was like, no. And she pulled me aside. She goes, just because you know things doesn't mean that they know things. And you can't tell kids that Santa isn't real. And I was like, why? He's not real. <laughs> <laughs> she, <laughs> she was like, just because you know that doesn't mean that the other kids do. So I had to not say anything. That's a good story. And you knocked out my next question, which was the Easter Bunny one. <laughs> so, yeah. When did you find out the Easter Bunny wasn't real? Um, when I stopped getting baskets. <laughs> you just didn't have we a just basket didn't one get one baskets. We, they would just buy like heaps and heaps of candy and keep it in the house. I think I think because since I was the youngest, like they didn't even bother like telling me things because of the older kids like already knew. Yeah. So I guess they just like maybe assumed that I was told from my older siblings. And you weren't? Nope. <laughs> no, they didn't tell me shit. No, they let you suffer. Yeah. You're like, why doesn't the Easter Bunny love me? Like, yeah. why isn't that I was so me? sad when I stopped getting baskets, bro. I'd be mad too. Like, because like everybody got baskets because I was getting a basket. Like, I was the last one like the last kid so they were like oh Kira's old enough we don't need to get baskets anymore because she probably knows that the Easter Bunny's not real so everybody stopped getting baskets when I stopped getting baskets but they got baskets longer than me because they were older than me (laughs) yeah it's fucked up (laughs) I want baskets until I'm 16 I would be pissed did you have any weird foods that like you ate as a child Vienna sausages girl (laughs) I would I would down, like, three cans a day. <laughs> yeah. I I feel like I was too picky. I didn't like Vienna sausages. Mm-hmm. Riley fucking loved them. But I'm talking about, like, weird... Like, we were an ingredient-only household. Mm-hmm. So, like, Riley and I came up with some weird-ass foods. Like, um, we used to make peanut butter quesadillas. Like, we would just put peanut butter on quesadillas. I did that with ketchup and bread. <laughs> that ketchup sandwich? I would just eat a ketchup sandwich. <laughs> It's like a tomato sandwich, but the tomato's crushed up, so it's like ketchup. It's not any better. Oh my gosh. Okay. It was good. I, was gonna I wouldn't do it now, that. but. Sometimes I'd be craving like a peanut butter tortilla. I'm like, do I, do I want to do that? Put um, some banana in there. Oh, oh, you were talking about earlier like the cinnamon like butter? Cinnamon butter toast. Mm-hmm. A whole bunch of people made. I never made that as a kid. I felt like I missed out on it. But I didn't make that, or like cinnamon sugar and like, or um, a whole bunch of stuff. I never made that. Mm-hmm. Um, do you know what fried onions are? Like deep fried onions? Like, or just fried onions? Or maybe they're French onions. My sister used to just like eat butter. Riley did that. Like straight up like a stick of butter. And now my niece does it. <gasps> I love fried onions. Yeah, not like onion rings, but okay, these. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I used to just eat those out of the fucking thing. No, I, I do that all the time. I, like, I still do that. <laughs> do you really? Yeah. I fucking pour them into a little cup. I don't just my chips. <laughs> that and then also we used to have like 
you know the hot fudge that you can melt and pour over your ice cream? No. Okay, they have this hot fudge that you can buy at the store. They come in this, like, jar like this, basically. Mm Mm-hmm. And it's, like, solid, but you put it in the microwave and you melt it and you pour it over your, like, ice cream and stuff like that. We used to have that. And I would just eat that shit straight out of the jar. Me. Like, (laughs) I wouldn't heat it up. I wouldn't tell anybody. I would sneak it because my mom. It's like ice cream. Yeah, well. (laughs) It's like the chocolate that goes on top of ice cream. Yeah. That reminds me of when, um, when we used to trick or treat. When we used to trick or treat at my, um in my grandma's neighborhood mm-hmm. um these people like said that they ran out of candy it was bullshit because nobody just has bottles of hershey syrup <laughs> they gave each of us a bottle of hershey syrup but i'm not talking the small ones girl i'm talking the big one i wouldn't complain honestly. i wasn't complaining but like you're telling me you ran out of candy and you just had four of these hershey's <laughs> syrups I was like when you'd be trick or treating and you found like the jackpot house that has like full size candy yeah. bars. Yeah. Who has the money for that? Who? I was gonna do it and then Brayden told me not to. Did you get a lot of trick or treaters? No. Think of all the money you saved. <laughs> fair. That's the I would have eaten it myself. <laughs> That's fair, actually. Yeah. I kind of want a full size candy bar right now. Yeah. It's actually really sad how many kids like don't trick or treat anymore. <sighs> It's really, really sad. It breaks my heart. Like, even as I was, like, growing up, there was, like, less and less kids on the streets. Yeah. I, part of me wonders if it's, if it's just because of the way that the world is now as Mm -hmm. far as, like, I feel like when our parents were young, they didn't understand the, The dangers. Yeah, the dangers that they were going through. And so as they got older, like, they started limiting us on things that we can do and as we get older we're limiting things that our kids can do and stuff Mm -hmm. like that and that's good like i don't i obviously don't want there to be any like danger yeah as far as like kids danger for anybody Mm -hmm. but halloween of all things kind of like breaks my heart because i'm like i my favorite time of year growing up was Mm -hmm. always halloween and now it's like i feel lucky if Anywhere I'm at, we get, like, five trick-or-treaters. Yeah. I think I got, like, like four or five. Yeah. It's, like, I remember when we were kids, like, adults, they would dress up. The adults would dress up, too, and they would mm-hmm. sit on their porch, and they would hand out candy to yeah. kids. We had, like, a, like, we called them the garage people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and there was, like, it was, like, almost the last stop when we got back to the house, and they always gave us, like, the rest of the candy at the end of the night. Yeah. They would have, I mean, they would have... The go- they would have garage pe- that's so cool they would give you the rest of the candy those are the best people especially when they knew you too and you're yeah. just like hey it's me again I'm like, time for my one year visit mm-hmm. um, but I mean there were like neighborhood haunted houses yeah there was I, there were so many things or like when people would dress up their dogs and like mm-hmm. the dogs would sit in the front yard and I dress get- up my dog it is, it's not, like it's so cute I, I love Halloween and the fact mm-hmm. that it's like slowly disappearing kind of like kills yeah. me it's like we're not gonna have another like Disney Halloween special feeling. Mm-hmm. Like it's and as oh my adults, god, can we talk about uh, the freaking like Halloween specials on Disney? Yeah, like the freaking Ant Farm episode. Oh my gosh, I mean, Ant she's Farm. singing "Calling All the Monsters." Oh my god, girl. the freaking Girl versus Monster. That girl movie. Versus Monster Twitches. Twitches. The Twitches. Twitches. Halloween Town. Oh like, my god, all I will these... never feel the same way that I felt when I watched Halloween Town for the first time. When Disney would switch, when it was the time of year where Disney would switch from blue to purple, Mm -hmm. and it would have the bats and the lightning strikes, and they would have, like, the Sweet Life of Zach Zach and Cody, like, Halloween special where Esteban was possessed. Like, there were so many great things, and I feel like it goes, like, kind of perfectly with with what we said in Mm -hmm. last week's episode where time is crazy because... There gets to be a certain point in time where it's, like, things that were so cemented in our memory, yeah. like, as kids and as now young adults, like, they're not cemented in other people's memories. Mm-hmm. And it just sucks. It sucks. Because it's, like, I know that they're going to have things that they're feeling joy about as well. But I can't, I can't imagine that it feels quite like Halloween Disney. I just yeah. can't. Real. <laughs> Real. I can't. It's like when you find out that people didn't know that Harry Styles was in One Direction. And it's like, <gasps> it's like, damn, y'all are killing me. It's, it fucking hurts. 
Spiderweight Chronicles. Oh, <laughs> bitch. Nobody knows about that movie. What? Nobody that I know knows about that movie. That is hands down one of my favorite movies. Hands I watch down. It. I try to watch it once a month. It is so good. And I try to explain it. I can't even explain like how what 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 it's about. When like you... somebody asked me what it's about and I'm like, well these these two kids, like they find like a spyglass and you can see goblins through it and blah blah blah. Yeah. And they're like, What? It's these <laughs> Yeah, it's and I'm it's... like, You've gotta watch it. Yeah. Well it's three kids, but Freddie Highmore Is it three? Play, Yeah. Freddie Highmore plays two of them. Speaking mm. of childhood crushes, Freddie Highmore, that man was in everything. Freddie Highmore. Freddie Highmore. Oh my he god. He had me at Norman Bates. Freddie Highmore and Arthur and the Invisibles, specifically his like little fairy character. Oh my god. I've never seen that. You've never seen Arthur and the Invisibles? Mm -mm. The girl in Arthur and the Invisibles? I didn't bring up any of my girl childhood crushes. You've never seen this movie? Look at her. Oh my god. I've never seen this. Really? That was his character. I was down bad. Anyways. Um, but Spider- <laughs> You have to watch the movie. I'm not even going to take any criticism on that one. Okay. Anyways. No, spider Wick literally so good. Yeah, I fucking love spider Wick Chronicles. Probably. I had a cactus that I named Thimble Tack. Oh. And, like, I, I I love spider I could talk about spider Wick forever. It's so good. It's ridiculously good. So wonderfully good. Um, I also had a Fanboy and Chum Chum. But more people have seen that than, I think, anything else. I hated Fanboy and Chum Chum. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Fern Gully. Fern Gully, Fern Gully, Fern Gully, Fern Gully, Fern Gully, Fern Gully, Fern Gully. What? <laughs> you, whoa, don't you ever fucking say what to Fern Gully. Holy shit, you know Fern Gully. Everybody knows Fern Gully. Oh, no, but, um, no, 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 but, oh my god, um, 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 Shoot, dude, the freaking Pete, Pete's Dragon. Oh, Pete's Dragon. Oh, Pete's Dragon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mm -hmm. loved, loved Pete's Dragon. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Not the new one. Not the, the new old one. one, no. The oh. old one. Look at him. Mm -hmm. Oh. I think that movie, I remember that movie making me cry. I don't remember what. Loved that movie. And then James and the Giant Peach, that one too. That movie scared the fuck out of me. Did it really? Why? Why wouldn't James and the Giant Peach scare me? I don't know. I don't remember it that much, actually. It's pretty alarming. Is it? The ants are abusive, and they, like... There's ants? A-U-N-T-S. Oh. <laughs> James's okay. ants. I thought you meant the, the insect. No, but if we're talking about ants that are terrifying in A Bug's Life... Not the ants. The grasshoppers. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. It's like, okay. No ants that are terrifying that I can think of. Um, real quick, before we... Uh, the ants this, and Kong. How do you feel about remakes of, like, older movies? Mm, I think it depends. Because... Sorry, go ahead. If it's an animated movie and they're doing a live-action remake, go for it. I think mm -hmm. if you want to do that because we have technology now to do it, go for it. But if you're just remaking it to remake it... It makes me mad. Okay. How do you feel about the the It remake? I take back everything I just said. Because <laughs> I actually, I just made Kyler watch that. The uh, original one or the new one? The new one. I made him, well, we watched part one. Mm -hmm. We're going to watch part two this weekend. Um, But why did it look like he had a visceral reaction? To I that? think that the original is good. But I hate how they ended the second one. The second remake. Have you seen it? Yes. How do you... How because do you why are they killing him by talking down to him? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I agree. I think that was so fucking stupid. That was the dumbest thing. You're ugly. Thing. You're I not had, scary. Right. We're not scared of you. I had You're the stupid. biggest expectations. I was like, oh my god, like the original It movie is so good. Like, And now that they have like the actual stuff and the CGI to make a really like good looking spider... And they do that? Yeah. <laughs> I was heated. Yeah. I was absolutely heated. And I was just... Ugh. I think definitely when it comes to remakes, there are certain aspects of it that can be really good. Mm -hmm. Like when you do have the CGI to make it look really good. When you do have the ability to tell a story more in depth. 
when you phones on silent, the show is going on. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it was the way you I looked her. around. It was the way you looked around like you were catching the culprit. You were like, oh, whose phone is that? Oh my gosh, guys. Silence. Silent. <laughs> no. Um, it's like, yeah, like we, I, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of. I'm not going to immediately hate a movie just because it's a remake. Mm-hmm. But A lot of people do. But I am going to go into it with skepticism. When yeah. it came to the the It, like you said, It remakes, I was telling Kyler about it too. When they first came out, I was not a fan. Mm-hmm. At least the first one. By the time the second one rolled around, I was a fan of the first one. But the first one, it took me watching it because all my friends loved it. Mm-hmm. So it took me watching it like two or three times to like actually lean into it because I think it, it stuck with the 80s cheesy feel while being modern and i think that's what i didn't like about it at first Mm -hmm. because i was thinking of it as a modern movie without the 80s cheesiness yeah and i was like this is just a bad movie Mm -hmm. but then when i was like oh they're just doing the 80s cheesiness with it looking modern and i leaned into it i was like okay wait i kind of love it yeah so that and i think that they picked like great actors for the characters like the perfect actors for the perfect characters and even them grown up Mm -hmm. like is really good choices i I will never be able to get over the finn wolfhard bill Hader combo like there's bill Hader, chef's fucking kiss bill Hader. i love finn wolfhard and i love Mm -hmm. bill Hader. and i didn't realize how much i love bill i knew i love finn wolfhard Mm -hmm. but i didn't realize how much i love bill Hader until i was watching him in that uh the girl that plays bev um, the older what one. What is her name? The older one or the no, younger the younger one? one. Whatever her name is, she did like really good. She did. I yeah. loved her. Like, why is she not one of the first ones on here? Sophia, Sophia Lillis. Lillis. Yeah, she did amazing. And I don't know if you've seen Wyatt Eleven anything else, but mm-hmm. him in the Book of Henry was so good. Actually, Wyatt and Sophia in their show. Um, <gasps> Oh, I oh, what is it called? Um, I'm not okay. I'm not with okay this. with this. I'm so mad they canceled that. I was really upset. I'm so mad. It, it was, was really, really good. good. But yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, thank you so much for watching. Um, we mm-hmm. like to just sit here and talk about anything and everything. I feel like this episode went really smoothly because we just stuck on one topic pretty much for the whole thing. Mm-hmm. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to share us. We are on Spotify, That's YouTube. New. Yeah, YouTube. Um, we have a link like tree that. in the bio. Link tree in the bio. We've got Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Um, feel free to follow us, like us, share us on mm-hmm. any of that. We would really appreciate the support. And, um, I, last week I said we were on iTunes. We're not on iTunes. <laughs> also I, not on Twitter. Also not on Twitter. Mm-mm. And I'll die on that hill. We are not getting a Twitter. <laughs> nope. If anybody ever starts a Twitter <laughs> with our name, they're liars. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. Mm-hmm. And we'll catch you next week. Catch you next week.